Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be making a video about my endometrial biopsy experience. Um, I was diagnosed with PCOS and upon my ultrasound, uh, my doctor had seen that my uterus was slightly enlarged and uh, that my lining was thickened and because my husband and I were trying to conceive baby number two and at the time of my ultrasound I had not had a period in eight months. Um, my doctor ordered the, um, the biopsy to be done. Um, with the biopsy, if my results came back negative for precancerous cells, then she was going to put me on Provera to have a period and uh, Clomid to help me ovulate. But um, this is going to be about my experience with the biopsy. It was the most painful thing I've ever been through in my life. But at the same time, it wasn't something I couldn't handle. Um, I do have a very high pain tolerance, but um, it, it was quite painful. And it was more uncomfortable than anything. Um, so I'll go ahead and just start from the beginning, from the time I went in there. Um, they had advised me the day before. Um, they told me to take an ibuprofen an hour before the procedure which I forgot to do. Um, I, I took it like 20 minutes before, which wasn't enough time at all. Um, but ibuprofen really doesn't work for me anyway, so I don't really think it would have done much of anything. But the procedure itself um, got in the gown. You know, the doctor was going over everything that was gonna be happening. Um, she had a nurse in there with her and they were also going to be taking a camera um, I forget the technical name for it, like a histoscopy or histo something, um, where they take a camera and they also take pictures and you know, to, to get a better idea of what was going on inside my uterus. Um, so they wanted to do that first. Um, I laid up on the table. Um, the doctor had the, one of the Q-tips. Um, she cleaned the cervix and then she put like a numbing cream on my cervix which, to be honest, didn't do anything. Um, after she put the numbing cream on there, she was gonna, she, um, she said that there was going to be a, a pinch and some pressure, which, um, to be honest, that felt like the jaws of life, like, ripping open my cervix. Uh, yeah, so they needed to dilate the cervix to get up in there with the camera and everything. That was the most painful part. Um, for sure that was, that was definitely the most painful part. They took the camera in there and they were, you know, taking pictures and at the same time, like it, the further the camera went in, like it, you could, you could feel it. And it was just very uncomfortable and I had to st sit still, which was difficult. Um, after they were done, that was about five minutes of them taking pictures and everything. Um, I'm sorry, this video is going to be all over the place <laughs> trying to remember everything that happened in order. But um, after that, she said that they were ready to do the biopsy. And with the actual biopsy, it felt like a pap smear on steroids. Um, she, it was a lot of scraping and it, it was, you could feel it. It was, um, like I said, it was like a pap smear on steroids. They had to scrape the lining of the uterus and then they took like a big uh, suction tube in there and they, um, they had to like suction out the tissue that they had scraped. And that even though it was only like a couple minutes of that, like it was excruciating. Um, but like I said, before I knew it, it was over. And afterwards, um, you know, she said that I would get my results back in about two weeks. I was able to sit up. Um, there was no no pain afterwards. Um, it was just cramping. It was like I had really bad period cramps. And they also, they, they give you a pad because, um, you know, she said that there, I would be leaking the saline fluid for a while. And she said that there could be uh, spotting or bleeding up to a couple of days afterwards, which, um, that really, really wasn't an issue, but for me, it was about two weeks of spotting. Um, my results did come back benign for um, precancerous cells, so um, I actually didn't need to 
make it on the Provera because I actually got my period on my own. And so I called my doctor's office, spoke to a nurse, and they prescribed me Clomid, which I am on day four of Clomid today. So hopefully it works for us, but um, I'll keep making these videos and posting updates, and I might do a video about the side effects from the Clomid. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.